anybody home? Sir, could you step to the door? Yeah. Sir, we received a 911 call. Is everything okay? My wife was upset. She might have called. Everything's fine now. Sir, could you open the door? What's your name, sir? Supporter, reporter. Mr. Porter, could you step inside? Go ahead and have a seat, sir. Mr. Porter, is your wife here? I don't know. She may be upstairs. When? Wendy? Mrs. Porter? Police? Wendy? Mrs. Porter? Police officer? Mrs. Porter? Ma'am, are you all right? When? Stop resistance, sir. Get off! Get off! outside of the marina, okay, buddy? Okay. Hey, Daddy? Yeah, buddy? Am I just a rookie at this? <laughs> what would you say? A rookie? Well, that's a big boat, huh? Oh, yeah. It's like 200 feet. Think we're gonna see any fish? Yeah, I'll give you a mask, throw you in the water, you see plenty of fish. Sing mommy a tune. Yeah? <laughs> yes, please sing a tune, sweetheart. Mommy. <laughs> How's that for an entry? It'd be good if you knew a few more chords. <laughs> Look, mommy. What is this? Is this your story? Yep. Sweetie, this is beautiful. Can you help me with the words? Um, of course, but not right now, because it's time for bed. I have to finish my story. Nice try, kiddo. Go to bed. Listen to your mama. Tomorrow you can finish your story. Right now it is 7 o'clock and you haven't even had a bath yet. Get Mr. Growls. Let me sing a song first. A song? Daddy, don't do it. Joey. Don't do it, Daddy. This is a little song I wrote for you about bedtime. Uh, oh, no! He did it! <laughs> Joey, 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 uh. when your kid is about to bed, or oh, daddy, 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 gonna drop him on his head. Come on. Oh, daddy. Because you said good night. Night, daddy. All right, hold on. See you in a second. Hey, you win. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, son. Daddy always wins.
I just want you to know you did the right thing. Okay? Okay. Father Logan, when I was leaving today, he wrote down his number and he said we can call him anytime we need him if we need anything. So I just want, I want you to, I want you to take that. I want you to, I want you to hold on to it. And if, you know, if we need to call him, you just, that you just give it to me. And I'll call him. Okay. Last night was so terrifying. I was afraid that I would come out and you wouldn't be there. That I'd be alone, you know? Oh, baby. I told you I'd be there. Thank you. How's business, Bill? Uh, well, you know, it'll pick up. Well, my offer still stands, you know. I know, thank you. Appreciate it. Why don't you let Jack help you out, Bill? It'd be an investment for us. Look, we're, we're so good, thank you. Have you thought about my offer? What's that? Beth wants to start taking Joey to church with them. Really? Don't you think it's important that he's raised with good values? Sweetheart. Excuse me. Need anything? I got some ribeye coming next, so I'll be right back. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Sounds good. I know, I know. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Come on. Come on. Hey, look at you. Hey, camera. How you doing? Your daddy's home. Your daddy's home, camper. <laughs> Honey, are you okay? Yeah. He bit you in the face. Camper, you fat dog! All right, he's just doing his I'm job. I'm so sorry. Let's get you cleaned up. What a way to come home, huh? You know, we're gonna have two salaries coming in. We can fix things up a bit here. That would be great. Yeah. You know, baby, I was thinking it. Once I get settled in, you save a bit of money. Um, we could start trying again. You know. What do you think? You want to start a family? 
Let's start a family. Really? Yeah. It'll be the new life we talked about. He could be the new me. <laughs> you want a boy? Yeah. I think every man wants a son, right? So I should get your sister to come over more often, get some dishes done around here. That's funny. I'm just sick of it. What's the big deal? Just let him go to church. Who cares? Him going or not going is not the issue. He's our son. She has no right. Sweetie. Hey. She's just jealous. You got all the looks, the talent. You got me. <laughs> it's perfectly understandable. Really? Well, mm -hmm. I'm glad you think this is amusing because I don't. After you went away, it was so hard for me, Rip. It was just so hard. I know. I am sorry. You know, I couldn't even find a job at first, and then, um, then I, 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 I found out I, I was pregnant. You what? And I didn't want to have an abortion because it was. It was, it was part of you and me, Rip. But, um, I just, uh, I just kept thinking about how hard my childhood was with, with my father and how hard yours was and, uh, with how things were between you and me at, at that time. I just thought it was better for the of my mother she signed for you and I gave I gave I gave the baby up for adoption. I gave him away. Please say something to him. You said him. You said him as if it was a boy. I gave him away. I I gave away our boy. I'm, I'm so sorry. This is okay. I couldn't have been a father, honey. Not then. Not the man I was then. You don't have to say that, sweetheart. I don't. Don't cry. Maybe we gotta get him back. We can't. We gave him away. No. Maybe I didn't sign anything. I didn't sign anything. We need to get our son back. Okay, I'm gonna make this right for you.
Gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Careful, sweetie, you have the eggs. Why'd you give me the eggs? Because it was the lightest one. I gotta pee. Okay, remember to put the toilet seat down. Put it up first and then put it down. This is Allison Bauer of the Ohio Department of Child Services. I'm calling for Mr. and Mrs. Your Honor, I, I'd just like to point out that this child is in private school and he's very well adjusted, whereas these people, the, the birth parents, have no parental experience. I appreciate it, Mrs. Bauer, but that doesn't change the forgery. Have a seat. Thank you. Mrs. Porter. Who signed these papers? Well, I assumed my husband did. I can explain, Your Honor. I wasn't talking to you, Mrs. Porter. After Rip was put away, I decided to adopt out the baby. And so I took the papers to the prison. But because Rip and I weren't on speaking terms, I gave them to a guard to give to him. And someone on the inside must have signed his name. Well, I'll tell you what, folks. If I find out who did sign those papers, he's going to the same prison you did. Yes, sir. Now, you're going to tell me that you didn't know about the pregnancy or the adoption. No, sir. Not, not until a couple weeks ago. And now you want to be a father. Yes, sir. Before I was incarcerated, uh, I was a very different man. Certainly not fit to be a husband or a father. And uh, my alcoholism is a progressive illness. And healing is, um, is lifelong. And I've spent the last seven years rehabilitating. And the one thing that I've held on to, sir, is, is my hope. My hope for a family to repair the damage that I'd done and my desire to be a father. She's been in court all day. What's going on? Just let me try to talk to you. Allison Bauer, Jack Campbell, returning your call. What kind of situation? Living room, uh, kitchen table. Got a few fish. Uh, um, and he's got his own room. I'm doing a bit of work on it. Uh, we just got some toys today. Yeah, we got him a train set. <laughs> Have you given any thought to schools? Yes, the, um, the public school is just down the street here, and it's got a very good student-teacher ratio. I actually went there. It's a good school. So you're a local girl. <laughs> all right. What about his diet? Yeah, Mom. I've actually planned out all of his meals already. Um, lots of protein and veggies. Um, no fried. No <laughs> fried food. We're, we're cutting that out. No more fast food. I've even made a schedule. <laughs> I'll, um, oh. These are all child safety locks, by yep. the way. Yeah, installed them myself. <laughs> well, there's a lot more to raising a child than toys and locks. We know. <sighs> Look, I can see that you've worked really hard, but that doesn't change the fact that you are ripping this boy away from the only life he's ever known. He's coming from another world do you have any idea what that's going to do to him? Have you thought about it? I 
don't understand why this is our problem. They made the mistake. They should have notarized the signature. You're right. You want to sue Ohio DCS, we'll probably win. I don't want to sue, Tom. This isn't about money. But we got a problem. It's Ohio case law. It's firm. There were eight forged adoptions, all invalidated. And in every case, the child was returned to the biological parents. This judge has no choice. You got to help me, Tom. Please. There's got to be something. Look, Jack, listen to me. We won a lot of battles together, you and me. But we're not going to win this one. So let me tell you what I would do if it were me. I would stop wasting my time talking to lawyers. Do you follow me? this to work out so bad and honey huh? you're gonna be a great father huh? Jack, how are you thanks for coming please sit down you're talking about reversing the, the ruling of an ohio judge i have no legal authority curtis you're a congressman call in some favors for me twist some arms i, I met I know how it works. Look, it's it's the state judiciary, and I can't interfere with that. What if it was your son? What if it was Max? Think about that. Come on, Jack, that's not fair. There's a woman coming down here in three days to take Joey. Do you understand that? Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Look, I realize it's an election year. And these aren't popular cases to be Wait, associated with. This but has nothing to do with my, my political career. Are you I'm kidding me? I'm asking you to put yourself on the line for once to save my son. Look, I know you're under a lot of pressure. I know that, but I'm sorry. I can't. I'd like to help you, Jack, but um, it's a state matter, I guess. My hands are tied. I'm sorry. Send him to your parents. That's the first place they'll look, honey. Well, if he's not here when they get here, what then is they'll he? send us to jail. What good are we then? Send him on the first visit. Just look, until I can figure something out. Let me see these feet. Ow! <laughs> you, hey, you count one, two, three. All right. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> she mama. That was a good one. tell you something. You're going to go on a little trip to a place called Ohio. All right? 
Where's Ohio? It's pretty far, so you're gonna have to take a plane. But remember, you love planes, right? Why do I have to go? Well, there's this woman, and she's really nice. You don't remember her, but she knew you when you were a little baby. And she asked if you could come for a visit. And Daddy and I said yes. Enjoy. Everything's going to be fine. All right? You got nothing to be afraid of. Look at me, buddy. Hey, you got nothing to be afraid of. I want you to come with me. Spell. Good morning. Mr. and Mrs. Campbell, I'm I'm very sorry. I know this must be difficult. Difficult? Do they teach you to say that, Miss Bauer? Um, there are a couple of things I need to go over with you. This has the itinerary and all of my information in it. Now, uh, on the first visit, we're going to tell Joey that the Porters are just friends. The next time, we'll refer to them as the other mommy and daddy. And on the final visit, he'll be told the truth. Do you have children, Mrs. Bauer? Yes. Yes, I do. And I am very sorry. All right, all right. What if something happens? I'm sorry? Miss Bauer, I know why Rip Porter went to prison. Mr. Porter's had years of rehabilitation and anger management. Oh, Mom. And the court has deemed him a fit parent. Now, I've personally been to their home. It's a suitable environment. A suitable environment? Joey's not going anywhere. You can leave down this spot. Goodbye. Mr. Campbell, I understand your frustration. But it's either me or two uniformed police officers. I've done it both ways. Believe me, this way is best for Joey. Bauer. If anything happens to my son while I'm clearing this mess up, I'm going to hold you personally Jack. responsible. Jack. Come here, baby. Come here. Jack. 
Good morning. You must be Joey. I'm Allison. Hey, sweetie. Listen to Mom, okay? No. This is the woman that's going to take you to Ohio. No. It's okay, sweetie. No. Baby, it's going to be okay. No. Mommy and Daddy love you so much. No. I know, baby. It's going to be okay. We'll be right here when you get back. Miss Brown, will you give me a moment with my family? Of course. Come here, sweetie. your eyes. Yeah? Ain't that something? Hello? I'll get the gate for you. Ready? Mr. and Mrs. Porter, this is Joey. Hi there. What a big, handsome boy you are. Welcome to our home. Can I give you a hug? This is my wife, Wendy. No. Uh, my name is Richard. When people call me Rip, you call me whatever you want. <laughs> nice to meet you. Joey, Rip and Wendy are your new friends. Now, you need to listen to them and obey them, just as you would your parents. You understand? Is that your suitcase? Can I get it for you? <laughs> oh, wow! You got an elephant in there. <laughs> you want to see your room? Fix it up myself for you. Oh, hey, we got a dog in the back named Camp. Backyard. Yeah. Come on in. I need you to sign right there. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Just remember that he's six and in a new world. We'll check in tomorrow. I want their address, Tom. I want to know where he works. Give me his rap sheet and anything else you can get your hands on. I need this done, and I need it now. You understand? Be careful. I've been careful, Tom. And Joey's gone. Now, please. Okay. I'm going to go to Ohio and see what this guy wants. Check this out. We're bringing out lunch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, ready? Yeah. All right. Okay, you can put it up here. Watch my fingers. Very good smack. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cookies. Hey. Actually, sorry. 
no girls allowed. Oh, I guess I'm just gonna have to take them back. Oh, no, you, you have some cookies so you can come up. I guess. I'll come up. And see okay. So, little Joe, what do you like to do? I mostly like to sail. I know how to steer a boat myself. Do your mom and dad have a boat? Yeah, a big sailboat. But it also has a motor. Hmm. You know what we could do? We'd go up to Dillon Lake tomorrow. They got these little boats that you can rent, and you can steer it. How about that? Yeah, that could be fun. I'm done with my cookies now. So, ready to take a shower, little man? I don't like showers. Listen, you gotta get cleaned up before bed, right? Can't go to bed dirty. I don't want a shower. I just want to go home. Please go home. Babe, you know what? What you could do is go to the bathroom with Wendy and just wash up your face and hands, and, you know, maybe that'll make you feel better. Yeah. Okay. All right? That's a great idea. But, um, next time, you gotta take a shower, okay? Hey. Let's test the rope swing. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, Ready? Have fun. All right. Woo! Woo! That's pretty cool. Oh! <laughs> All right, your turn. Okay. Cute nose that you have. Is it kind of upturned? <laughs> kind of like mine. <laughs> took away from me, out of my arms, and how I was never going to see his little head again or, or smell his skin. Nobody, nobody's going to take him away from us again. mother must be feeling the same way I did, maybe worse. Appreciate dinner. Thank you. Yeah, of course. So did Beth mention that we're going away in a few weeks? To Haiti? Mm -hmm. What's in Haiti? We're going to take the kids on their first mission trip. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we 
we've got our uh, new church sponsor, an orphanage that we've been working with in Port-au-Prince, and this year we're going to help them renovate the compound. We were thinking that if you guys want to come, it might be a good time to get away. Or uh, Bill, Bill can take the kids, and I can stay here with you. You know, it's really Stop. whatever you want. Stop! Mom! Guys, he's writing on my homework. I did not. Yeah, I didn't not tonight. That. Yeah, you know what? I think it's time for bed. Oh, right now, please. Night, Uncle Jack. Good night. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. I think it's really good for them to see what other parts of the world can, can be like. Maybe you should take them to Ohio. When does he come back? He comes back tomorrow afternoon. And then he goes again in two weeks, and the next time he doesn't come back at all. It went all right. And we went to a lake and I stood a paddle with all by myself. And I didn't want to take a shower, but Wendy said if I did next time, she'd get me my own DVD for my room. Was Wendy nice to you? Yeah, Wendy was really nice. She cooks good, too. How was Rip? Good. He's really funny. We're building a tree house, and we cut part of Wendy's pillowcase out, and then we spray painted a skull and crossbone, and we have a bucket that, like, she can put something in, and then we pull it up with the rope. It's so cool. They're bribing him. I never thought he'd actually want to go back. What if he wants to be with them? He's six years old. What if he has some deep connection to these people? Like, he feels that he they're... He doesn't even know them. He came from them, Jack. Mom, I'm done with my dad. All right. I'm going to go to Ohio first thing in the morning. Sunday. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Mr. Porter. Yeah. I'm Jack Campbell. Joey's father. Meet you, Jack. How much do you want, Rip? Come again? This is an amendment to the original adoption. You sign this, I give you half a million dollars in cash. That's a whole lot of money, Jack. Yes, sir. You sign it, I pay you, and we walk away. What do you say?
You come up with $500,000 in cash, Jack. I'm betting you could come up with a million. Okay. Make it a million. That was fast. That was fast, Jack. Let's make it a million. Yeah? Boy. You said that so fast, I figured you'd come up with two. Fine. Just sign it. Two million dollars. Then I'd be just like you, Jack. Big house. Big boat. Big shot, huh? Yeah, that's right. You could be anything you want, but anything at all. What do you want, Rip? What do you want? I want my son. Okay, and you can't have him. Not for no money. Not two million. Not ten million, because my son ain't for sale. Oh, 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 hold on. Rip, Rip, listen to me. One sec. Just listen to me. Please. Please. That kind of money, you could start over. You could have as many kids as you want. You understand? What am I, a dog? You don't know me. You don't know me. What, you can't have any kids? You got no bullets in your gun, big shot, huh? You don't know me! You don't know me! You! I'll send you back to prison, you hear me? You'll go to prison. You're the one violating the court order. Either way, you can't have my son. can't do this. He assaulted you. We call the police, we follow a report. Molly, it's... it won't work. Why not? Because if I report him, I go to jail too. Okay. What do we do? Try to buy him off, it doesn't work, and now you're done. What else do you want me to do? You, you, you tell me, what, what, what else should I do, Molly? What I else don't should know. I do? Something. Anything. You're his father. You don't just give up. I'm not giving up. I've done everything. I don't care what it takes. I'm not giving up my son. You know what, you something, you know? I'm not giving up my son! Look at my face! Look at me! What a horrible father I am. I've done everything, Molly. Why don't you do something? Do something. I'm going to bed.
gonna be okay buddy yeah I'm gonna paint my tree house Joe are you ready to go Just one thing so I can remember. If you had a birthday coming up, what would you want to eat on your birthday? A, a chicken cake. <laughs> chicken cake? Chicken flavored cake? Chicken with cake? Chicken with chicken cake. cake. You want a, a cake made in the shape of a chicken? No. You want a chicken inside the chicken cake? Chicken inside the cake. All right, I'm going to file that away. All right, let's go. One, one two, two, three. three. Joker! I win. I win! You won? I thought Joker is better than everything. No, that was before. Before what? When I had Joker. <laughs> Reminds me of someone. All right, card shark. Ready to hop in the shower? I don't want to take a shower. Oh, I've got to get you clean somehow. Look at you. Hey, you. <laughs> hey, you to you. Well, listen, we got to get you in there and get you cleaned up. Remember, we talked, we got... We got different rules here. I need you to go and jump in the shower, okay? You can do it. You know what? Why don't I take care of it? I mean, don't spoil him. I'm not spoiling him. It's just that. It's just that I think that. He's a big boy. You're a big boy. Come on, get your gear. Let's go. Come on, bud. Up in the shower. I don't want to take a shower. <laughs> Doesn't work like that here, bud. Come on. I need you to obey me, and I need you to get in the bathroom. You know, I think that you're really upsetting him now. No, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm actually the one who's getting upset now. So would you just? Okay. Come here. Come here, sweetie. Here, we'll go together, okay? It'll be fun. All right? Come on. Let's go, Joey. Please, sweetheart. It's it's only water. It's nothing. Come on. What are you doing? Come on, buddy. In the shower. Come oh, oh, on. Rip. He's It'll really be fun. scared of it. He's really scared of it. You know what? He's a big boy, man. He's not made of sugar. He's not gonna melt. Come, Come on. Just take your shirt off. And let's keep going. No. All right. You want to do it together? Yeah. We'll do it with our clothes on. Come on. It'll be fun. Woo! <laughs> Come on. You ready? Woo! <laughs> You're hurting 
okay? No. You hurt him. Listen, listen. I need to tell you something, okay? Wendy. Wendy is your real mommy. Rip, not now! Shh. This is not the right time. time. And I'm your real daddy, okay? And, and no, you came not. here to live with us. No, no, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm your real daddy, and this is your real mommy. Rip, I want to see my daddy. I am your daddy. I want to go home. You are home. You are home. I want to go it's home. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's it's enough. Okay. That's enough. First night we moved, I sat right here, right here with Joey. I remember I asked him, I said, son, how deep do you think the ocean is? He said, daddy, I bet you it's 50 feet deep. to be on the same team. I don't feel like we are anymore. You know, honey, you're right. I was disappointed when we, uh, when we adopted Joey. I wanted my own son. I wanted my own blood. From the moment that he came home, I loved him like he was mine. But he's not mine. They can just take him. <laughs> they can just take him away. Hey, little man. Hey, Joey. You know about dandelions? How you can make wishes on them? You just... Close your eyes, make a wish, and then you blow. Why blow on it? Because there's a wish inside here. And when you blow on it, that wish gets set free. And then it can come true. You want to try it? Wishes are important, Joey. You always have to believe 
that things can get better than they are now. What's wrong? Hey, what, what happened? Well, I think things were a little more difficult this Difficult time. how, Miss Bauer? I don't know. He wouldn't tell me. Maybe he'll tell you. Oh, uh, Mrs. Porter offered to give you an extra week to say your goodbyes, and the judge agreed. Okay. Thank you. Bye, Joey. Hey. Hey, hey. What's the matter? What happened? Joey? Hey. Sweetie. Joey. Joey. Joey, what happened? Joey, come on. Sit up and talk to me. Come here, sweetie. What's going on? Talk to me. What happened? He hurt me. He made me take a shower in my clothes. He what? Where, sweetie? Where did he hurt you? Rip did this to you? He said you're not my real mommy and daddy. Is that true? No. No, sweetheart, that's not true. That's not true. An extra week? Why would you agree to this? I didn't agree to it. What? It was my idea. It was your... what? Why? Because you're not ready. You need more time. Oh, so you just... That's your decision, is it? You just go behind my back and accuse me from my son? You hurt him, Rip. I didn't mean to hurt him. I was but trying But you did to... hurt him, and you terrified him. I'm just trying to protect him. And you. Right. How can you say that? How can you say that when you lie and you, and you hide these things from me? I'm no. not lying. I told you. I'm telling you. I'm not hiding anything. Where are you going? I'm going to go wash my face, and I'm going to go to bed. No! I, I, wanted, I need to talk to you about this. You should have told me. I think you better sleep on the couch. No! No! Listen, call her back and tell her you made a mistake. No. Baby, listen to me. No! Just call her! No, I said no. It wasn't a mistake. Call her! Ah. Shot of that boots right now. Who are you calling? Allison Bauer. Call Dr. Riley and tell him that I'll be in there in 15 minutes with Joey. And all of this is going to accomplish what? What, Jack? You're going to file a lawsuit, send Porter to jail? Yeah, I'm going to send him to prison. You said it yourself. That's not going to do us any good. We could put Porter away for the rest of his life. Joey still won't Jack be ours. Jack, for Allison Bauer. Jack! What then? What? We have to leave. We have to pack our things and go. No one is coming to save us. Go where? Out of the country. Anywhere. You realize 
realize what you're saying about you. They do. All of this would be gone. We'd never be able to come back. All our friends, your sister, we'd never be able to contact them again. We'd have Joey. You want some tea? Sure. So what's going on? How come you couldn't tell me on the phone? Kurt Golding talked to the congressman from Ohio, and he's asked DCS for an investigation by the state commission. What, what does that mean? It means the transfer is suspended, and the commission can reverse the judge's decision permanently. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. See, I knew something would give. I knew something would give. Um. Listen, Jack and I were talking, and we think we want to go to Haiti with you. Really? Yeah, I mean, with everything that's gone on, I think it would be great for all of us to get away, be together as a family. So, what do you think? And it's, it's okay to take him out of the country? You're, you're allowed and... Of course it is. I mean, the order's suspended. We can do what we want. Besides, I think, it, I think it'd be fun, you know, for the kids, for us. Do you think you can arrange it with the church? Oh, it's a little last minute, but but absolutely, we'll work it out. Okay. Mrs. Porter, I know it's late, but I, I need to speak with you. Mrs. Porter, you haven't returned my calls. I need to speak with you just for a moment. Please open the door. Mrs. Porter. Congressman is helping her. 
but I know her. And the way she's acting, there's just something that's not right. How should she be acting? Think about it. I mean, suddenly she's going to church with us, and, and now they want to leave the country and go to Haiti. Don't you think it's strange? No, I don't think it's strange. We invited them, remember? I know what I mean. Honey, you need to be careful. I uh, appreciate you taking my call. I just wanted to thank you personally. Excuse me? I just wanted to thank you for what you're doing. For Joey, for their son. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Congressman. I, I must have misunderstood. It's all right. uh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to. It's fine. Have a good day. Thank you. too. That was gross. <laughs> <laughs> what else? What else do I do, son? You love me. Yeah. And that's the most important thing a father can do. So why did Rip say he was my dad? Listen to me for a second, Joe, okay? This might be a little confusing, but I'm going to try to explain something to you, all right? Wendy is the woman that gave birth to you, okay? And then your mother and I met you, and we loved you so much that we became your real parents forever. Just like Robbie Elwood? That's right, that's right. We adopted you, son. So I'm going to stay here with you and Mom? Is that what you want? It is? Okay. Then we'll be together. No matter what, all right? No matter what. That's it. Thanks, man.
friend. Come with me. Let me show you a quad. Get any of that on the fence? Hey, easy now. We were working hard manual labor while you boys were in town shopping. Believe me, you're better off here. Hey, Bill, you mind taking over? Oh, yeah, with pleasure. Can I do that? Oh, gladly. I'll go get cleaned up. Hey. So I found a taxi driver that picks up tomorrow at 2 p.m. And our flight's at 4.30. Okay. Do you think you'll show? Yeah, I gave him $100 today. And I said I'd give him $200 tomorrow when he gets to the airport. Trust me, that's a lot of money for a guy like that. He'll show. Early. Yeah. He sent me home. I can't concentrate and I can't eat and I can't sleep and I don't understand why you, you haven't called the police. No police. So you can leave me then. No. I don't think so. Rip. We've both made big mistakes in our lives. But I know your heart. I know inside you're good. Even if you don't. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. There's one thing I need. Mean. You remember Father Logan? We'll do it together, babe. Me and you. Okay. Oh. Oh. Makes 
exhausted. Nice job, man. Oh. Nice, man. That's what I like to see. So, Will, I'll meet you guys at the bus at noon, and then we'll head into town with everybody else? You know, actually, we were just thinking about hanging as a family and letting you guys do your thing, and we'll come back and have dinner with you later, if you don't mind. Uh, it's good by me? Yeah. Yeah, sure. OK. You sure? Yeah, is that OK? Yeah, of course. Whatever you want. OK. See you at dinner. I love you. I love you. I love you, too. Okay. See you later. Yeah, man. Have fun. You, too. Right. Joey? You guys have a good day. Bye. Bye, Joey. Good He's man. a ball player. Yeah, yeah. Huh? See you later. All right, Joey. You hot? No. Your cheeks are all pink. <laughs> Come on, buddy. See you guys. All right. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Molly lied. Kurt Golding isn't helping them. They used us, Bill. They used the church, this trip. They're taking Joey and they're running away. I know. What? What do you mean you know? It's what I would have done. No, Bill. No, it's wrong. And you know it's wrong. If God wanted them to have Joey, uh, he would have stop done something it. else. Stop it. You don't get to decide what God's will is. Do, do you want Joey to be beaten, maybe killed by this man? No. The courts are wrong, Beth. What other option do they have at this point? Honey, what else is this trip for if not to save children? Right? I know you're going to miss your sister, but this isn't your choice. We have to let them go. Everything's going to be OK. No, it's not. Why? I called Allison Bauer.
sorry, sir. How you doing, man? Good. Where you going? I'm just going shopping. That's okay. That's okay. Hey, guard him in. We don't report la police, man. We don't report la police, man, s'il vous plaît. Bien. Everything is okay? Perfect. Mr. and Mrs. Campbell. Where is our son? I'm sorry that you had to be brought back this way, but I had to stop you from making a very big mistake. Is Joey all right? He's fine. He's just down the hall. Miss Bauer, we've done nothing wrong. Mr. Campbell, please, have a seat. Now, you did do something wrong. We both know that. And I've spent a lot of hours trying to keep you out of jail. I'd like to talk to my lawyer. Mr. Campbell, I am on your side. I am. Now, it's been a really long night for all of us. I have Mrs. Porter with me. She's right outside. She wants to talk to you. So I'm going to bring her in. I'm Wendy Porter. I know you tried to run away with Joey. Miss Porter. He had bruises on his body. I was just trying to protect my son. I have to tell you, when you offered my husband money, Joey, you nearly crushed the man. Would that be what you would teach our son, that, that poor people can just be bought off? No. I thought he wanted money. And uh, I, I was wrong. And I know that now. You have no idea how much that boy means to him. I made a terrible mistake seven years ago. I never should have given up my baby. But with everything that's happened, I need to be sure now that I'm doing the right thing for him. Mrs. Porter. Wendy. He's our whole world. He's our boy. I love him as if I gave birth to him myself. 
and I can't imagine spending a day without him. But from the moment we brought him home, my biggest fear was that he would wake up one morning and realize that I'm not really his mother. That I'm just some woman who's raising him. He never will. This about. I have the uh, revised adoption papers here. Uh, Mr. Porter has already signed, and I personally witnessed his signature. you both to know that uh, Rip really does love Joe. He, he just wasn't ready to be a father, and he knows that. Miss Porter, will you tell your husband that I apologize? Is there anything that we can do for you? I mean, and, and it doesn't have to be money. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm, We'll be all right. We're, we're getting help. There is one thing that, that, that you could do for me. I would like Joey to know that he, he has two mothers. One that loved him so much that she couldn't let him go. And one that loved him so much that she had to. to him? Of course. <laughs> Joey, it was real nice having you come and spend time with us at our house. Getting to know you and see what a bright and beautiful boy you've become. <laughs> laughing with you and it honestly been some of the happiest moments of my life. What happened to your face? Oh, well, I got hurt, but I'm gonna be okay. Am I gonna come see you again? No. No, sweetheart. That was our last visit. You're not coming back anymore. Why not? Remember I told you about the dandelion and how we had to set the wish free? Sometimes people are like that, too, baby. Yeah. I want you to remember me. <laughs> and try it and remember only the happy times, okay? <laughs> this here, very special. Rip gave it to me when I was a girl, and I want you to have it. Inside is a picture of me and Rip and, and our address in case you should ever need anything. Anything at all. Maybe one day when you're a, a big, strong man, we'll meet again. I love you.